This video is a review of the topics we've covered this week. We have Pythagoras' theorem and the trigonometric ratios, finding a missing angle or a missing length using Sokotoa. Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the two shorter lengths and c is the hypotenuse, the longest side of a right angled triangle. So the two shortest sides in a right angled triangle squared and added together are equal to the longest side squared. This question says find the length of AB. So we're finding the length A to B. So A and B are the two shorter sides and C is the hypotenuse, the longest side. So we've got A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem and we can substitute in what we know. So we're saying A is X, so X squared plus 3.2 squared is equal to 6.8 squared. To get X squared by itself, we take away 3.2 squared from both sides. So X squared is 6.8 squared, take away 3.2 squared. And we can type this in the calculator. So 6.8 squared take away 3.2 squared is 36. So x squared is equal to 36. So what is x? To get x by itself, we square root both sides. So square root 36 which is 6. So x is 6 centimetres. AB is 6 centimetres long. And there's one for you to try here. So see if you can give this one a go. The difference between the second question and the first question is in the second question, we're finding the hypotenuse. We're finding the longest side. So we're finding A to B, which is the longest side, the hypotenuse. But we still use the same rule. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this time it's going to be 6.4 squared plus 4.8 squared equals X squared. So 6.4 squared plus 4.8 squared is 64. So x squared is 64. To get x by itself, we square root both sides. So x is the square root of 64, which is 8 centimetres. We can use Sokotoa to find a missing length in a right angled triangle when we know one of the other angles and one of the other lengths. So in this question, this first question here, we're asked for the length BC. So BC is the hypotenuse of this triangle and we can work it out using Sokotoa. We need to decide if we're using Sinkozotan and that depends on which lengths are in the question. So let's label this triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the right angle. The opposite is opposite the angle we're using. And the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So in this question, we want to use O and H. We don't know what A is and we don't, we're not trying to work it out. So we're going to use O and H, and that means we're going to use SO. So, sine tells us the relationship between O and H. Cos is for A and H, 
and 10 is for O and A. So we want O and H, which means we're using SO, and SO means sine with the angle, sine theta equals O over H. So let's substitute in what we know. The angle is 32, so we've got sine 32 equals O over H, which is 4 over X. We want to get X by itself. We can multiply both sides by X to get rid of the fraction. So X times sine 32 is equal to 4. And then if we divide both sides by sine 32, X is by itself. So that's 4 over sine 32. So 4 over sine 32 to one decimal place, that is 7.5. So x is 7.5 centimetres to one decimal place. Okay, one for you to try here, so give that a go. Finding the length BC. So B to C is this length here. So first step, label the triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the right angle. Opposite the angle we're using is called the opposite. And in between the angle and the right angle is called the adjacent. So which two lengths are we going to use in this question? O and A. We're not using H. We don't know what it is. And we're not trying to work it out. So that means we're using TOA. And TOA means that tan with the angle, tan theta, equals O over A. So if we substitute in what we know, the angle is 58. So we've got tan 58 equals X over 6.5. So to get x by itself, we're going to multiply both sides by 6.5. So we've got 6.5 times tan 58 equals x. Now we can just type that into the calculator. 6.5 tan 58. And to one decimal place, that's 10.4. So x is is 10.4 centimetres to one decimal place. We can also use Sokotoa to find a missing angle. So if we know two lengths in a right angle triangle, we can use them to find a missing angle. The question here says, find the size of angle ACB. ACB is this angle here. So the first step, label the triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side. Opposite is opposite the angle we're finding. And the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So which two lengths do we know? We know A and H. So that means... We're using the ratio of A and H in, which is ka, cos. So that means cos theta, cos with the angle, equals A over H. And if we substitute in what we know, we've got cos X is 4 over 6. To find an angle to get cos away from X... We do the opposite of cos, which is shift cos, arc cos. So we'll have x equals shift cos for 6. And we just type that in the calculator. So shift cos for 6. And to one decimal place, that's 48.2. Forty-eight point two degrees 
for one decimal place. Okay, one for you to try, so give this a go. Find the size of angle BAC, BAC, and the first step, label the triangle. So the hypotenuse is the longest side. Opposite the angle is called the opposite, and in between the angle and the right angle is called the adjacent. So is it so, ka, or toa? Which two lengths have we got? We've got O and A. So we haven't got H. That means it's tan, it's toa. And toa means tan with the angle is equal to O over A. So in this question, that means 10x is 8.4 over 5.2. To get X by itself, to get x away from tan, we shift tan. So x is shift tan 8.4 over 5.2. We just type that in the calculator shift tan 8.4 over 5.2. And to one decimal place, we've got 58.2. So 58.2 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, last question. So this time we've got part A and part B. Part A, find the length of AC. So that's this length. Give your answer to one decimal place. So how would we work out X? So we can't use Pythagoras because we only know one of the other lengths, but we do have an angle, so we can use soccer toa. So let's label the triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side. Opposite the angle we've got is the opposite, and the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So will this be so, ka, or toa? Which lengths are we using in the question? We're using H and A, we're not using O, so it's ka, it's cos. So we can say that cos theta, cos with the angle, is equal to A over H, which means in this question, cos 55 is equal to 5 over X. We want X by itself, but let's get rid of the fraction first, so times both sides by X. So x cos 55 equals 5. And then divide both sides by cos 55 to get x by itself. So we've got 5 over cos 55. And to one decimal place, that's 8.7. So x is 8.7 centimetres to one decimal place. But we're going to keep that number in the calculator for part B. So part B says, find the length of BC. So in part B, we want to work out B to C. So we're working out this length, and I'll call it Y. So... This time, we can use either Pythagoras or Sokotoa because we now know both of the other lengths. So we can use Pythagoras or we could use Sokotoa just with a different ratio involving O. So let's use Pythagoras. So Pythagoras' theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So C is the hypotenuse, that's the longest side. The other two are A and B. So we've got 5 squared plus our unknown squared equals 8.7 squared, or our answer squared. So that's the, the answer in the calculator. So Y squared is going to be 8.7 squared if we take away 5 squared from both sides, minus 5 squared. 
So in the calculator, we can do answer squared minus 5 squared. which gives us 50.99 so y squared is 50.99 to find our unknown to find y divide both sides nope square root both sides so square root our answer and that's 7.1 to one decimal place If you'd use a different method, you should get the same answer. Okay, so that was our week seven review. There's an assessment now available. The link will be in the description on YouTube or at the bottom of the page on the website.